The Sherburne County Jail contracts with the federal government to hold up to 300 detainees for Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. We are not involved in the judicial process uh, or make a uh, determination uh, as to who gets deported or who gets to stay in the country. We just simply are a holding facility until others make that decision. The sheriff has proposed expanding the jail to handle up to 500 ICE detainees because that's what the federal government is seeking right now. The current contract expires in 2023, and if Sherburne County stops doing business with ICE, the sheriff said it would lead to layoffs. We're looking at probably about uh, 65 staff members that would be laid off uh, if we lost uh, all 300 ICE detainees. And do you search that would affect the local economy? Anytime that you lose staff, uh, good, hardworking staff, and uh, they lose a job, it, it certainly has an impact on on staff, on morale, on their families, uh, their staff that live in our community. But we just stand out there with signs big enough, hope that people honk their horns, hope that people give us a thumbs up. Sometimes people give us the opposite. Reverend Robin Radabaugh is the pastor of the Union Congregational Church in Elk River. Her group holds protests outside the jail every Wednesday. It seems like our county's main goal with this is money. You know, this is a good thing for our county. This is good money. Uh, you know, somebody's going to take these people. Why not us? And we don't, we don't think that's a good enough reason. Now, Robin's group goes by the acronym SARI, S-A-R-I, that stands for Sanctuary and Resistance to Injustice. On the flip side, you've got the Sherburne County Board of Commissioners who all uh, agree with the idea of expanding the jail to handle more ICE detainees. And the reason it's a, it's a good prospect for ICE is because they've got the experience going back 20 years and they meet all the federal standards currently with the current facility. Uh, but again, this is really in the early stages right now. Uh, no definite plans, but it's something that's definitely got people talking up here in Elk River. Back to you.